hello guys i wasn't gonna vlog today because i feel like shit but i might just do like a bit of a sporadic vlog and vlog little bits here and there of my week and chuck them all into one it's what i might do um it's looking a bit red i'm feeling a little bit hot i'm feeling a little bit bothered my allergies kicking off big time and it hasn't kicked off in about a month a month and a half so i'm really feeling it and it's not nice so my eyes are watering and everything and i have literally not been able to do much the last day or so i managed to go to the gym yesterday which actually made me feel better so i might go today but i can't hear anything my ears are really bad this time as well and that does happen but it's just so annoying so yeah i don't want to kind of dwell on it too much because i don't really like to give you guys excuses for not actually filming but i think this is a pretty good excuse right here and sometimes I just need to chill because sometimes this happens like the stress and work and stuff so yeah but what I wanted to show you is actually what's just arrived in the post when you are gluten free or when you have dietary restrictions and you find something you like but it's not that readily available this is the lunch you have to go to to get food so you can only get these from Ocado was where we found them but then I know I thought why don't I just go on Amazon and have a look around and they were cheaper on Amazon and we bought like a shit ton of them literally loads, they're all the same thing but yeah, so these little Rude Health mini corn things they're not that easy to get hold of but I would recommend checking out Amazon if you are interested in getting hold of anything like this <clears throat> I am also meant to be having another food delivery today I ordered some Quest bars, like a multi-variety box, so we're meant to be getting those today as well. And we have also ordered like a large number of like small pizza bases online. So this is what happens when you have dietary restrictions. Because sadly, it's really hard to find food sometimes. You go to the shops and the shops will have it, and then sometimes shops don't have it. And you just end up spending a shit ton of money um, like ordering online half the time is what you end up doing. Um, a lot of gluten-free ranges and stuff have got a lot bigger and better since when I started doing this, which is just like over a year ago. So they are improving, but still a lot of work to be done, guys. So if you are interested in anything like that, I'd definitely try hitting up Amazon for it because you might just find what you're looking for on Amazon and at a better price, might I add. So hi, guys. It's a little later in the day now, and I'm still not feeling great. I'm feeling a little bit better because I got out of the house for a bit. I was meant to be on parcel watch, but... um. <laughs> I just needed to get out of the house so I just put a note on the door. A neighbour took it in, so good. Um, but I have my quest bars here so I'm just going to go through the flavours I've got with you. Then we have almond vanilla crunch. Then we have chocolate peanut butter. Then we have peanut butter supreme. We have double chocolate chunk. There is also some there's also some protein peanut butter cups which I didn't know were coming in here so that's a bonus. Then there is the cookies and cream, chocolate chip cookie dough, mixed berry bliss it says, chocolate brownie, I'm excited about this one because I love chocolate brownies, white chocolate raspberry, peanut butter and jelly, I'm not sure about that one, coconut cashew, cinnamon bun, cinnamon roll sorry, and then strawberry cheesecake. So those are all of our flavours, I'm quite interested to see which ones I like and which ones I know that all the chocolatey ones I am probably going to like because I'm a very chocolatey person if something's got chocolate in it chances are I'm probably going to like it so um, and it's cool that they put these in as well because I didn't know these were part of it either so nice little extra there I'm still feeling shit so I'm probably not going to continue this vlog today I just wanted to show you those things that I've got coming Probably got parcels coming tomorrow as well, so this might just be a parcel vlog for all we know. It might just be a parcel vlog. I'm sorry if you guys don't like parcel vlogs. I actually quite like parcel, like, unboxing and stuff in vlogs. So, yeah, we might just call this the parcel vlog, so we'll see. Hi guys, it's Friday and I'm feeling quite a bit better. I'm still quite nasally and horrible, but I'm feeling a lot more human today. I'm going to head off to the gym now. I have a parcel that for some reason didn't get delivered to the house, it got delivered to my parents' work, so I've got to go pick that up. Um, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to go on my own today. It'll be my first time going on my own and I'm going to do core I think because that's kind of like the one thing we haven't focused on. Um, 
I might try and vlog a little bit in there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I think I'd rather get settled in and get my form a little bit better first. But if you guys really want me to vlog some of my workouts or try to, let me know in the comments and I will try and do that for you. Um, obviously, it's a public gym, so I have to be careful of who I am filming and stuff anyway. So, yeah. But I will let you guys know how I get on. I've also got a Gymshark order coming this afternoon, but it's not coming till like half three. So, ugh. I want to wear that to the gym today as well, so I'm a bit annoyed, but I'm sure when it gets here I'll be super, super excited about it. I'm not going to show you all on the vlog because I am going to be doing a gym haul of all the stuff because I have bought quite a few, it's going to be kind of a collective haul, I've bought quite a few gym things recently since I've been getting back into it, so that will be coming, hopefully, depending on what time the stuff comes, I will film it today, but we will see. So I'm going to head off to the gym now. So just before I leave, I am picking up this, which is like half of a Quest bar. I started the cookie dough one last night. Um, it's quite nice. Um, I haven't had anything cookie dough since going gluten free, so I don't really have a lot to compare it against, but it's nice. Quite difficult because they're quite solid to eat, but nice anyway. So also I wanted to give a shout out to this company. You guys have, you guys have seen these before. Funkin' Cocktails, these guys are uh, my favourites. I love these guys so much. They hooked me up again with some awesome drinks. They sent me a Brazilian one, which I love. This is one of my all-time favourites from all of their drinks that I've tried. They also sent me a Cosmopolitan. I did buy a Cosmo myself. These are available from Ocado if you're interested in buying them, but I ordered one of these myself the other week because we placed a big Ocado shipment for gluten-free stuff. And you know what? It tastes better than like half cosmopolitans i've had out and about at like restaurants and bars so definitely try this one if you like that classic cocktail it's amazing and where the package is different on that as well i think it's old packaging so and then they have two new ones one of which is elderflower collins which i haven't tried yet but they sent me some of those and and they also sent me this one which is raspberry mojito which i actually did one trial it's on their website and i was like hmm, maybe i'll order that but no, they hooked me up again. They are awesome at that company. Their customer service is amazing. The staff are amazing. They're so nice every time that they speak to me. And I just, their products are so good as well. You don't have to have them with alcohol. So if you're, you know, trying not to drink, you can have them just with like sparkling water, with lemonade or something like that. So it doesn't have to be an alcoholic drink. So if you are teetotal, you can still enjoy these drinks. And I think that's so important because right now I'm not really drinking alcohol because it plays up this situation and it gets my histamine going crazy. So for me, it's great because I can have a nice treat, kind of mocktail, think I'm having a drink, but I'm not actually having a drink. So awesome. Love it. And now I'm going to head off to the gym. I've got my Quest bar. I'm just going to pick up some headphones and then we are good to go. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you're that fussed, but I'm actually now on Spotify. So I don't know if you guys want to check it out. I think my username is Eve underscore Bickley. I'm not 100%, but um, yeah, I think I, I actually signed up to premium because I like listening offline while I'm in the car. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I will try and make them public for you and you can listen. I have a R&B one, I have kind of a chilled out one. I have house and dance stuff like that but I'm still working on these playlists at the minute but yeah in case you guys are interested in Spotify. Hey guys so I'm just going to turn this down a minute, um, in fact I'm going to pause it. So I have just finished at the gym, I did core and I did two leg exercises just to round me off because I don't really like doing core so yeah and it was good, it's hard working out on your own because I don't push myself as hard as if I'm with a trainer. But let's see how it goes. Didn't want to do too much because we are moving the horse tomorrow, which I was going to try and vlog for you as well as a separate vlog. So I'm going to head off home now. I've got my Boohoo stuff that I picked up. I'm going to try it on when I get home. And you guys can help me decide whether to keep it or not. I also picked up my mom and check shirt as well. And my, I've got pit, <laughs> just carry on. I've got um I've got a picture to print out and then I might try and finish off Firewatch for you guys because I'm feeling a little bit better today. Still super congested, but we will go with it. I want to get that game video like filmed and finished because I want to get it finished by March and we are now in April. It's the first of April today, so happy April Fool's Day. Don't play any nasty pranks guys. All in good fun, but don't do anything too harsh and horrible. <laughs> Back home now. And 
I've honestly just followed some of the worst drivers ever. I wish I had a GoPro set up in my car sometimes so I could show you guys because some of these people are ridiculous. Um, I think what I'm going to do, because my hair hasn't even dried properly yet, so I'm going to let it down. Well, it's pretty much dry, I think. It's still a little damp. But you always get that line when you wear a hair bubble. You girls know what I mean. You get that line around your head. So I'm going to let this out. I actually do plan on straightening it just so that I can wear it up all weekend and it doesn't look so crazy. Um, so I'm going to do that. I have some more parcels here. I got home and there is that that got posted through the letterbox, which I think is a pair of leggings. And that, which is a bunch of eye drops. So nothing too exciting there. Still awaiting the um, Gymshark order. Hopefully it will come soon. I'm hoping they... Well, I, I like that they, they gave me like an hour window, so I'd rather them stick within the window. Because they do need to knit back out again. But we'll see. So we're going to sort my hair out. We are going to try these clothes on and go from there and print out this picture. So just in case you guys are wondering what eye drops I use, just a little FYI. If you don't already know, um, for my left writers and stuff, I use these Savvy Vix 0.5 ones. Um, I have tried the 1%, but I don't like the 1%, they're too thick for me. So, yeah. first things I ordered these were off Amazon um I thought I'd give them a go because like they were like two pounds but they're not very thick as you can see here <laughs> there's like overall I don't know um I, there's nothing to say whether you're wearing them like the wrong way around there's no label to say what's front and back or anything they were like two pounds so they're just some camo leggings so they're a little bit see-through on the bum but, oh well, I can still wear them like around the house and chilling and stuff like that. So guys, this is one of the dresses that I got. This is just a basic one from Boohoo. And they're like £12. It doesn't look much when I stand in front on because I don't have much shape from the front on. But, um, from the side, it looks quite nice. It's a bit baggy around the back. I might just have them taken in a little bit for that purpose, but... I do like these. I did order some of these from Misguided, but these ones from Boohoo fit me better and they were the same price. Um, I haven't tried the black one on, or the green one, but I will check back with you when I have. So guys, I'm sorry, but I put the black one on and took it off and forgot to film it for you, but it looked okay. I think because black makes you look smaller, it looked a little weird. But actually, surprisingly, I looked at this just and I was like, I'm not sure about this colour, but I actually kind of like it. I think if I had like proper green green I'd look a bit like a Christmas decoration but I don't know quite like it yeah and they're all like this kind of slightly I don't know what you, scooped hem sort of thing so but yeah they're all the same these are all like £12 each so they're really really cheap and they fit really nice actually they fit a lot better than the misguided ones do so if you're gonna pick some pick the boohoo ones over the misguided ones in my opinion if you are a similar or you think you're a similar shape to me um, i'm not sure how many people are a similar shape to me because i'm quite odd proportioned but oh well
I just left it to dry for a second. I'm going to put that in the frame and I'm going to get going to drop that off. Um, and when I was putting the printer away, I managed to give myself a paper cut on the knuckle. Good work. So, yeah, I'm going to head off back out again. Might try and set up the GoPro in the car. And get some footage from in the car for you guys. So, we'll see. So, hoping it'll be sunnier today so I can actually have the roof off and do it because it's a little cold for that. But we'll see. I tried to film with the GoPro um, I use a suction cup mount and I put it on the roof of my car because my car has a really weird dashboard and it probably wouldn't stick to it so I was like it's not gonna work on the dashboard so I thought we'll try the roof and <laughs> as you'll see in the clip or just seen in the clip it fell off so oh well we tried I still need to figure that out but um I really think, like, it's actually the proper suction cup and everything, the expensive one for it. It just fucking doesn't like to work. I've tried it a couple of times and every time I've used it, it's fallen off. So, maybe I'm using it wrong. I don't even know. I just don't even know, guys. So, uh. So, guys, I've just uploaded a video. It's only a quick little lush demo, though. Um, I haven't posted a lot over the past week. Due to being ill, obviously, but uh, and I haven't really got anything pre-filmed right now, so if you guys want to check that out, it'll literally take up 39 seconds of your day. So yeah, if you want to, go check it out. Hi guys, so this is going to be my final check-in of the day properly. I will sign off the vlog after this because my day is going from like, it was okay earlier and now it's just going downhill very rapidly. Is basically it. But um, I got my Gymshark stuff and I'm not going to lie. I think some of it might be too big. I ordered extra smalls in the leggings and I ordered smalls in the tops because I do vary between 8 to 10 in the top region because I'm quite busty but I feel like oh and I over ordered and ordered two vests because I'm an idiot um, but I feel like this sports bar might be too big for me we'll have to see. I kind of went off my Nike sizing and that's probably not a bad probably a bad idea because my Nike I'm like bras and stuff I am like a small to medium so we will see but I might have to exchange some bits and whatnot so I'm a bit put out but oh well you know guys I take that back I think this small is probably the right size because I don't think that my boobies like they would fall out the bottom of one smaller than this although this waistband's a little loose right now every time you wash these sorts of things they kind of change in size don't they so I think it's probably actually the right size so guys I'm actually really surprised that everything fits this jacket is a little bit too big and I'd say the leggings are a tad smaller um, they're wearable they're not like too small and um, they'll probably fit better once I've lost a bit more off my stomach but yeah I'm happy with the order overall there's a little like snag on one of the logos on the leggings like it's kind of peeling away a bit but I can't be bothered to send them back I'm not gonna lie to you I can't be bothered to send them back so I'm gonna leave it um, who knows, they might see this vlog and want to send them, send me a replacement, I doubt it, but if you'd like to, go for it guys. Um, but yeah, so overall happy with it. This is the vest, I did accidentally order two of these but I'm going to keep them both because they're really really nice. So I think that's going to be it for today guys, I will see you all soon with another vlog, hopefully I'll be vlogging tomorrow if it's not too stressful, and I will see you all then for the second vlog of this weekend. Bye guys!